welcome back to another video and you join us today on a disused railway explore we like those don't we and i'm joined by some fellow youtubers this is paul and rebecca whitewick and they've come all the way from andover because on their channel and you might want to check it out they've set themselves a bit of a task what is the task that you've set yourself okay so we started a little while ago exploring remote disuse stations we did a um a video where we visited every station on the somerset and dorset railway and instantly we became addicted so we said tell you what let's visit every disuse station every disuse station yeah what, every what? single one in the uk in the uk yeah really at the, at the moment at the time yeah. <laughs> at the time we didn't realize there were close to close to seven thousand disused stations seven thousand yeah we think eight six thousand eight hundred ish really oh my god so how far are you into this mammoth task we're probably less it's safer to say 12 videos into that task which is probably around about 200 250 stations right so we're so doing a line at a time should we say so 250 stations and you've come up to Manchester today to check out where we're going to go and look at. We're looking at, did you say Caddishead? Yeah, so we've got, well, from Glazebrook Junction. So yeah, first station for us will be Caddishead Station. Yeah. We've got a beautiful vard up behind us. We've got Partington Station just down there. Short trip for us today, but obviously we appreciate we're on your channel. So we're looking at the, the places we're seeing more detailed um, than we normally would. We, we would just normally fly around picture really tick all right so it's just a train spotting job where you, as long as you've seen the number you've got Pretty it much, yeah. 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 but no we, we uh, this is going to be a good trip we feel because i think we're going to get to see a lot more detail than we normally do so we're looking forward to it great stuff so behind us is the caddishead viaduct a place i've been meaning to come to for such a long time and i'm finally here but the journey starts down the track that way at where the line this is the cheshire lines and it starts, it branches off the Liverpool line this way. I'll show you on the map so you know what I'm talking about. But the journey starts that way, and we've got to come past this again in a bit. So let's go to the start of the journey. So this is where we are in Manchester, just kind of like to the southwest of the city centre, exploring this area here, Caddishead and Partington. So this map is from railmaponline.com. It's a great resource if you're into disused railways and I'll credit them here. Here's the journey. It comes from Glazebrook Junction and this line, this red line that you're looking at is a disused line, obviously. And we go down here and we're looking for the remains of Caddishead Station. And I'm going to go across the Manchester Ship Canal and look at the great Caddishead Viaduct. And then we're going to look right down here in this corner of the map and look for the remains of Partington Station. And yet more maps. This is from 1888. You'll see the Cheshire Lines Committee lines there. They, that comes from Manchester, goes through to Liverpool. Our journey starts here around about the Glazebrook Exchange sidings. And you'll see our branch line here that goes down to Skelton Junction. We're going to walk along this line and see if we can find the remains of Caddishead Station. OK, so let's jump back a bit and we find ourselves here, around about where you can see that bridge. Let's get down to track level. Okay, so Rebecca and Paul have just brought me down the line now, and we're just near the branch that came off the Liverpool to Manchester line, one of the Liverpool to Manchester lines. Beautiful, absolutely, completely overgrown, taken over by nature. All you can hear is the birds singing and the sun shining. It's quite a wonderful day. You brought the weather with you from yeah, Andover. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The interesting thing is that what Paul is telling me is that this line, this railway line, came off the Liverpool to Manchester, like I said, this is the Cheshire Committee line, Cheshire Committee line, yep. and it went that way towards where, Paul? Timperley Junction. Timperley Junction. Yep. Now, two versions of this line. The original version was qu at quite a low level. However, when they built the Manchester Ship Canal, they had to raise the line, okay? So you've kind of like got the original track bed, and then a higher track bed, and we'll illustrate this further when we get further along towards the, uh, the Manchester Ship Canal. But here, the line starts to, um, the, I'm still on the base of the original track bed, but here behind me, you can see, is the start of where the line started to rise up because they had to get an extra 24 meters. 
24 meters in the air to give clearance for the ships on the ship canal so this is where they started so sort of like the line split and this side starts to climb higher and this, this side was obviously built at a later date now interestingly as paul's just told me um the actual railway lines for the old line were the, were the longer surviving because this this lower level survived as like um a sidings for a while yeah, as well as they now, yeah. took the main line up and this side survived as the sidings now i hope well, hopefully all that makes sense but basically i'll try and show you but there's a split in the line here the, the more modern version starts to rise up to get up over the ship canal okay so this map better illustrates the point you'll see the theme along this disused railway line is that there's two lines that ran parallel to each other the pink arrow was pointing at the original line from 1873. They then had to, had to raise the line up and they built that the line where the blue arrow is and that's 1893 and that later line was built to clear the Manchester Ship Canal. Um, and while we're here, there's a wonderful, looks like a footbridge up there. So we're gonna take a look and get up on there and take a look, see what it's like up there as well. So obviously this is some kind of overbridge that went over that spanned the lines that were here. Um, and it looks like it's just a, a footpath. If you look at the old maps, it doesn't really say what it is to be honest with you. Um, been modified obviously because initially I think it was all stone, as you can see here, but they've dropped, looks like they took the top off and they've dropped on top. The, um, you know, the precast steel sort of, bridge spans if you like so it looks like the the trap bed the original trap bed has been turned into some kind of walkway now because it's uh, it's actually quite nice it's like a summer day walk to be honest with you uh, but hopefully now, as we walk along the, uh, this track bed, we'll get up towards the bridges then that go over the road. Is it the road first? Um, and yeah, you've got the road bridge which goes up into Arlham. Yeah. Um, we get to the station first, we get to Caddis Head Station first, then the road bridge. Ah, right. So we're looking for the remains of Caddis Head Station, is that right? Yep. There were two Caddis Head Stations. So the one we're on now, which is the newer of the two lines, because we're now obviously raised up from the old line down there. So they built that station along this section to replace the old station down the bottom. So we are pretty sure we're gonna find the remnants of the more modern station, um, built in the late 1880s, early, 19, uh, eight, early 1890s. Whether there's any remnants of the station that was built in 1873, that'd be really good to find out if there are, because that station only lasted say 20 years before the shipping canal was built. All ah, right, so, so, they had to, so for the higher line, they had to build another newer station. Yeah, and that station lasted <clears throat> until, I don't know, late 50s, early 60s. I'm not sure if it was part of the beaching cuts or not, but either way, yeah, that station lasted the, the, the length of time. Right. So when did this line open, Paul? Oh. So Cheshire Committee Lines built this in 1873. Right. Uh, so Cheshire Committee Lines, amalgamation of the uh, Manchester Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway Company, the Midland Railway Company, Great Northern Railway Company, right. all amalgamated, had three directors, one from each of those companies, made the Cheshire Committee Lines Company, um, and they all had a vested interest, obviously, to sort of compete with London Northwestern Railway. And so that was one of the reasons why this line was built, um, right. to compete with London Northwestern Railway. Okay. Um, so yeah, 1873, the first line, which was obviously the one down there, yeah. Um, straight down to Timpley Junction. Oh, when was it modified then? Modified. So the canal um, started being built, the Manchester Shipping Canal, 1888, thereabouts. Right. It took six years to build. In that period, obviously, they needed to raise the line. This line was stood on now. So this was built um, 1892. So the Caddis Head newer station opened 1892. Right. So 1873 original line, 1892 modified for the Ship Canal. 
Now, I've just put that correction in there. That's when Caddy said new station opened up. No disrespect to Paul. He's trying to remember one station out of the almost 7,000 stations he's going to visit. So fair play to him for getting the day almost right. Stood in the middle of a disused railway line off the top of his head. Okay, so when did it close? So, um, I presumably it was a beaching cut because it closed in 1964. 60s? Yeah, right. 64. Okay, beaching cut. Um, but it was, yeah, that was close to passengers. So that would in insinuate that it more than likely was a beaching cut. All right. Um, so it was used for freight, I think, until the early 80s. Really? Um, and then I think they had a lot of trouble with kids getting on the line, chucking stuff, vandalising the ships that were going underneath, that sort of thing. So they right. said, well, okay, let's just knock it on the head completely. Right, and it closed? It we closed, think yeah. 80s close to traffic, but probably to passengers in the 60s. 64, yeah, definitely 64. Right. Interesting passengers. stuff. So this is the thing about old railway lines. You come across these random things like, you know, big plinths and lumps of concrete. God knows what this was, whether it was sort of the basis for a signal gantry. I don't know. It's got the bolt sticking out. I'll show you in a sec. But uh, yeah, um, remnants everywhere of the past. So we're walking, the, di the direction we're walking is towards um, the ship canal. And this path is just kind of closing in on us even more as uh, nature takes a hold. But just up here, we're hoping to try and find the remains of the old Cadishead station. So we found it, the old Caddy said station. You can just make out the platforms. Um, bit of a concrete job, but uh, yeah, this is definitely it. You've got see, you've got one side there, and over here, the platforms are. Uh, you can probably see how they were on this side. Now this isn't the original platforms because initially it was built with timber platforms. Uh, those platforms were replaced in 1950, so what we're looking at here is the later concrete platforms, but still a great little find. So we're just frantically hunting round because According to the old map here, we're somewhere at the end of the platforms of Caddyshead Station and at the end of the platforms was a signal box and we think in all this we think the signal box is around here somewhere so um, as per usual it's completely lost and buried but if you look down here I mean it could be anything but if you look down here there is a little bit of a brick base, not quite sure what it is. Let's have a look. Now, who knows what that is, but uh, it's bricks, isn't it, uh, Paul? Some bricks here. I really need to start bringing a shovel with me. It'd just be such a pain in the ass to carry, but if I could dig some of this undergrowth up or bring a strimmer, I'm sure you'd find more. It'd be quite good, wouldn't it? So as we zoom in on Caddyshead Station on the old map where the cursor is, that's the old original line at a lower level. You can see it's probably still got a roll feeding those freight branches to the right there just disappearing. Now apparently Caddyshead Station was never a particularly popular or busy station and we never actually did find remnants of the original station. 
that original station closed. Um, well, the, the 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 services were switched over to the higher line on the 29th of May 1893. And the old line was severed by the digging of the, uh, the Manchester Ship Canal. Interestingly, um, the old line actually outlived the new line because by 15 years, because it was still a freight line up until September 1999. I'm guessing those freight yards that we could see on the old map uh, was was what well, what helped it helped it survive, which is that's quite interesting. That as we zoom in onto the later line where we are. We're now higher up and where it says Caddis Head Station, you'll see the two paths. There's kind of two lines that come in at an angle off the main road. Those are the approaches the, or the entrances from the main road. Let's see if we can see any evidence of those um, entrance points to the station. So we think we've found the walkway up to the station. There's kind of a ramp down there. You can maybe just be able to see it in the background. So let's take a look down there and see if we can see where it went. So I'm just wondering, this great amazing tree that has blocked the way, there's kind of a little v-shaped valley down there and it's going down to the main road so if we just go over this tree I think possibly, or I could be wrong, it, this could have been the pathway down the, at the side of the embankment down to the main road. So behind me is Caddis Head Station and we've walked up the line now and we're just on the bridge above Liverpool Road. Um, this is obviously the newer bridge, just over here, I'll show you in a minute, is the older bridge, the older... Uh, so it's looks steel, doesn't it, almost, even though it's older. Yeah, it's been replaced. Oh, we think it's been replaced. Right, so yeah, this is the, uh, the newer bridge and I'll just show you over the top of the bridge and you can see the height we're at now and now they've started to achieve the height that they wanted to for the ship canal. And I'll just show you down the side here of the bridge and you'll be able to see another shot of the road and the other old, uh, the older bridge where the line used to be at a lower level. So what we're going to do now is, obviously this line carries on that way. We want to go and take a look now at the, the Caddis Head Viaduct. So we're going to come off this, this side now and we're going to drive all the way around to Partington and approach the Caddis Head Viaduct from the sort of Partington side of the ship canal. Uh, there's some fields around the bottom of it and we've got easier access to the, uh, the Caddis Head Viaduct. So Right, well you know me, everything stops for tea and we've just had a bit of a break, so a uh, nice cup of tea, gather some strength. So we've done the first part of the railway line, we're now going to go towards the Caddis Head Viaduct, which is where you saw us filming the opening scene. But we're going to go that way now, see if we can get some good shots of the Caddis Head Viaduct 
And Paul, you're going to send the drone up in there, is that right? We'll give it a go, yeah, we'll give it a go. So we're going to try and get some drone shots as well. So let's go now to part two of the video. After cake, of course. So we're here, we've made it on top of the viaduct. Um, fantastic views of the Manchester Ship Canal behind us, as you can see. They've come all the way from Andover to look at the Cadisset Viaduct. Is this just not the zenith of what you came for, Paul? It, it's, it's better than that, isn't it? Because you know, you look at it online, you see pictures, and you know, it looks like a, a, a beautiful piece of railway architecture. But yeah. um, it's better than that. It's huge, isn't it? From down there. It's massive. You, you, you don't appreciate how big it is. The only problem is there's these 40 foot shipping containers um, that sort of span the width of the viaduct and they're almost impenetrable. You can't get across them. So hopefully in a bit we might get some drone shots of it. Um, I have tried. <laughs> I've tried to get across it, but you can't get across. You can't get into it. And I'll just show you this way. So this way is looking towards Manchester. Uh, a bit of a chemical works, I think it's Partington Chemical Works or something. Um, and you can see the ship canal. Bit of a thing there to stand on. And you see, you can see all the way over there towards Manchester in that direction. And the hills above Oldham. You can see it's popular with bikers around there. Um, I'll just show you the, the containers. Uh, if we go this side of the fence, the containers span the width completely. Um, you see they've done a really good job here of uh, making sure you don't get past and onto the viaduct and it's the same on the other side you just can't get past at all so unless I bring an oxyacetylene torch with me I ain't getting on the viaduct I think when we get down I think when we look up, when you look up, you can see through the, the sort of steel that goes across the bridge. In between that, there's nothing there, so it is quite dangerous to get on the bridge. And this shot here just shows how many holes are in the bottom of that bridge and how dangerous it probably is to walk on. So we've come down up from where the, uh, the line used to be, you see there? The line used to go across us, but over here, do you remember me telling you about the two levels of lines and how they had to build the, the track up to that level to get over the ship canal? Well, down here we've found uh, the original line that's here. And here it is, look at this. So these pillars, these bridge pillars behind me are from the 1873 line, the lower level line. 
um, fantastic to find and there's all the arches underneath here let's go and take a look at the old arches that used to be um, I'll just go around this corner here now so this is what we're looking at the blue arrow shows the higher line the one that goes over the viaduct um, and the red arrow is what we've just found and that is the old lower line the uh, 1873 line the original line that had to be the bridge had to be pulled down to make way for the ships on the ship canal and you'll see if you look closely at the map how the line just stops dead and uh, obviously the higher line took the trains over the over the ship canal but we're now looking at the remains of the original line and the original bridge let's take a look at those arches These probably would have been a lot deeper, they've been filled in over time. Um, but uh, we like this stuff, don't we? Nice bit of brick on the ceiling and the remains of something that was, that used to be. So we've seriously uncovered something here. Uh, great to see. And you'll see there's more arches that just go along here in the undergrowth. And you can see how they filled it all in underneath here. All in infill there. See if we can bring the uh, exposure up for you. So we actually stood looking at the top of a railway arch here. Look at those uh, proper arches out, look at the keystone there, absolutely beautiful. What a finder, and it's so good to find it that it's not been completely destroyed, it's a proper good find. So, a uh, <laughs> bit of a diversion there, shall we crack on to uh, see if we can find Partington Station? Let's do it. So from the Cadishead Viaduct, our journey continues now um, towards Partington. And you'll see our line built up there on its embankment and that's the route ahead. And to the left, you'll see the old, the old line. But onwards we must go now and try and find Partington Station. Okay, so we've been walking for about half a mile along this disused track and Paul assures me that up ahead yeah. <laughs> is Partington Station, or the remains of. Yes. But there's also a gate. Um, there's a gate in the way and we don't know what it is, so I'll just show you now. So because that fence completely blocks our path, we had to go down the steep embankment, go across the road and then go back up the embankment to sort of traverse round it. Right, so we've come down the embankment of death. We're now going back up the embankment of death. 
because we've had to sort of like come round the road, if you know what I mean. So, lost about four stone on this pole. So I lost about four stone on this walk. <laughs> that is the other side of that fence and we found it. Partington Station, so another one you can tick off your, uh, yep. your list. Big tick. There it is. Fantastic. Now take a look at the old map of Partington Station. You see where the cursor is and it just says Crane? Well take a look at what we found. Um, something here? Crane base I reckon. Crane base? Yep, the car is, it says there's a crane. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I was just thinking of one of those anything. It says Crane and it looks around about So if we take another look at the station again and we go close in, you'll just see there, across the lines, looks like a footbridge. There's a line going over the lines. We initially thought that was a footbridge. Turns out we were wrong because Partington Station had one last little surprise up its sleeve for us. So just to the side of Partington Station, we found this. Initially we thought it may have been um, a toilet because of the tile walls but we think it's an underpass an old underpass it reminds me of the one at Clifton Station do you remember that one um, bit of a gap down there so we're going to shine a torch in and see if we can have a look and take a look so that'd be quite interesting So the camera is actually, I can't get the camera uh, down there into that little hole. Um, so I'm gonna try it with my phone and put my phone down there and see if I can get a shot of the inside of that subway. Absolutely brilliant. Look at the old uh, tiled bricks and the, uh, the arch there. This is what we love. Look at this, fantastic. So that's it, journey's end. So thank you Paul and Rebecca for coming all the way from Andover to show Mancunian, a disused station in Manchester. But it was quite amazing and I think what you're doing is actually fantastic. I could not be begin to try and take on the task that they've got ahead of them. If you want to check out their channel, it's P Whitewick. Yeah, just, just YouTube P Whitewick. Um, P Whitewick. Or link yeah. below. 
yeah i'll <laughs> she'll put the link below and the link in the description as well so you check out their channel because i know quite a lot of you love the old disused railways and disused stations and you've found quite a few good tunnels haven't you while you've yep. been there uh, yeah, on yeah. your journey so tunnels as well so check out their channel they're off now back to andover the beautiful place of andover i've never been <laughs> <laughs> never been uh, i think i went through in a class 50 once actually may have yeah. done so they're off to back off to Andover. They may visit again and we can look at something else. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I shall see you very soon in the next video. Bye for now.